what have I lied about that you want me to explain? I want to know things that you truly have think I lied about so we can just clear this all up now because this is just becoming too much. People constantly thinking that I'm lying. I can't do it. I can't do it. So give it to me. Hi everybody and welcome to part three of every amber lie god part three i don't even think we're halfway through yet amber can you stop lying for like a week and let me catch up since i started this amber lie series she's lied I don't know, i've caught like eight or nine new lies so just have a week off let me catch up please beck's mother money amber said she was going to give beck's mother some money because beck's mother was battling cancer amber had started a, a gofundme for her However, in some leaked voice notes, it sounded like Amber didn't give her anything. I am not trying to argue with you. That is the last thing I want to do since you just got out of surgery. I'm tired of not being appreciated when I try to help you the best that I can. I have left comments on your Facebook regarding your cancer. I have asked how you're doing. I have been there in that sense. You know, we don't have to really go down the line of, oh, you didn't message me, you didn't message me, because I can say the same about you, where not once have you thanked me personally for the money I was going to give you. Not once have you personally thanked me for the money I was going to give you. Hmm, struggling with cancer. Yes, this seems to be the perfect time to uh, act like a brat. Anyway, Amber said she was going to give us some money, and she didn't. And Amber also proved just how much of an empath she is with those voice messages. What a wonderful lady Amberlynn Reed is. I'm so much better than majority of you. Crystal and Beck, sex. You and Crystal ever engage in sexual activity? Of course we did. So Amber makes it sound like that's a really silly question. Of course we did. Why wouldn't we? But then we have some leaked messages uh, blah 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 so you're still the only person i've let touch me i never even let crystal even after all the time we were together so there it doesn't sound like a, a normal relationship maybe amber wasn't lying there maybe they did have i don't know maybe but we have a very similar situation with beck do you and becky have sex yes we are in a relationship why wouldn't we again amber makes it sound like what a silly question that is Oh wait, is this 2019? January the 6th, 2019. This is Amber's stanky year? She wasn't doing anything that year? <gasps> How did I miss that? Anyway, in another Ask FM post, we have... You and Becky have no chemistry at all. God, wait till you, wait till you get to the Emily era. <sighs> you look like you are repulsed when she kisses you, and she always looks bored, sad, or angry. And Amber replies... My... My clit throbs when we kiss. What does that mean? So again, Amber is making it seem, what was I sick? Again, Amber's making it seem like uh, anybody who questions her having a normal relationship, having sex, uh, is crazy. You, you guys are crazy. I'm, I'm normal. I love you, Becky, no offense, but I feel like you can eat the kitty cat like a champ. You're probably right. I ain't saying nothing. You don't even know. Oh wait, she just told the tea. I, I did. That was no one's business. Last time me and Becky had sex was, we were here in this apartment. It was one time. So yeah, Amber's love life wasn't what she made it out to be. Um, how do you explain the line about when you and Becky were less intimate, you said different stuff in past videos? Because I feel like it's no one's business. Um, when I have sex with someone and when I don't have sex with someone, it's literally nobody's business. Like that's just, that's what it boils down to. If it's no one's business, tell them to shut up. Tell them to shut up or don't answer the question. You don't have to lie, you know, Amber. You don't have to lie. She's going to be watching this going, oh, really? Uh, yeah, you don't have to lie. Just, I don't know. Tell people to shut up if it's none of their business. Approved for weight loss surgery. Oh, I think this is a, a top five lie for me. Amber was going for weight loss surgery, but she kept gaining weight. She said, oh, they don't even want me to lose weight. Um... They've said lose a pound a week, but that was my idea. I came up with that. But then she couldn't even do that. She kept gaining weight. She kept stuffing her face full of food. Then she said, yeah, weight loss surgery journey is over. But they didn't refuse me. I refused them. 
I have chosen to postpone weight loss surgery. I know there's a lot of people saying that I was not approved or I was like declined. That is not true. Then she read an email from the dietitian. Hmm. First of all, I am proud of you. Thank you for your email. Thank you for your openness and transparency with your therapist and now me. This demonstrates to me that you are more ready for surgery now than even some post-op patients I have worked with in the past have ever allowed themselves to be. It takes a lot of courage to open up about your struggles, so I appreciate that you shared that with me. Anytime I'm just reading anything of her phone, lie, she did it with the, the Beck Jade name stuff. No, not having it. Alexis even came out and said, yeah, of course she was refused. Ow. Cause she was refused, she kept gaining weight. Was she rejected for weight loss surgery? Yes, because she couldn't stop binging. Amber, just admit this one. Out of all the lies, just admit this one, because this one's dead obvious. Admit it, it'll be a massive weight off your shoulders. It'll be the best bit of weight you've lost in ages. Amber needs glasses. This is a maybe lie. I think it's a lie, but it's a maybe lie. Amber got glasses, I'll show it in a second. Amber got glasses about the same time uh, Crystal did. She never mentioned needing glasses before that. She'd answered questions about herself uh, up to that point, but she, ne and she never mentioned I need glasses. And what's really weird is... Because all three of them had appointments, Crystal got new glasses, so we sat there trying to find her a pair that was totally cute and funny. I wish I could have recorded it. And then her dad got a pair and it was just a big old process. And it's literally been two and a half hours. I'm not exaggerating. And uh, her parents are still in the um, eye doctor place. So, yeah. So Crystal and her family all have appointments to get glasses, get their eyes seen. Amber doesn't mention that she's getting her seen. She doesn't mention that she needs glasses. She doesn't, doesn't mention anything about her and glasses. Then... So this is the first pair. Purple. Crystal's dad likes these ones better than the other. And here is the second pair. I like these ones better. And Crystal likes these ones better, but Crystal's dad still likes both. But anyway, you guys see the glare, sorry. <laughs> Isn't that really weird? Crystal and her family, all of appointments, Amber, nothing. And then two weeks later, Amber's suddenly wearing glasses. Then she started acting differently when she got her glasses she started just she just started acting it became a whole personality it was really really funny yeah the whole thing just stank so i used to wear glasses when i was younger but i broke them and then i lost another pair and yada yada so yada yada is amber's language for this is a lie and i can't be asked to think of more of the story so yada yada that'll that'll cover it she wore glasses now and again after that but most people think she was just wearing them to be fashionable or maybe it was to look smart. She says she needs glasses to this day, but she doesn't wear them. Maybe if Emily starts wearing glasses, Amber will, uh, Amber will start. No naps. This might be my favorite one on the list. No, it's not, it's the second favorite. We've got, we've got Damon White coming on this one. Woo. Um, flawed, Kermit was flawed, knowing that Damon White was gonna rock up. So plenty of times over the years, Amber will either say, I don't nap or I rarely nap. I don't take naps, ever. I don't take nap, I don't take naps. Someone pointed out, Amber, you nap all the time, mate. What are you on about? I don't take naps. Hey guys, so I just woke up from a nap. I did wake up earlier, but I really truly don't take many naps. I think sometimes when I say things like, oh, I don't take naps, what I mean to say is, I probably nap maybe once or twice a year. Once or twice a year? I remember when I was doing shit by the algorithm, and I was learning all about Amber, I remember thinking, God, all she does is nap, because every other video was, hi guys, I just woke up from a two hour nap. <sighs> so we're gonna take a nap for a few hours and then wake up and <sighs> we decided we're gonna take a nap. I took quite the nap. Right, so those three clips I've just shown there are from the Crystal era. A month or two after those clips. I mean, I can't even tell you the last time I've taken a nap. I can't, honestly can't. It's probably been about like, over three years. She hasn't napped for three years. She's literally a month or two ago was going, oh, lovely nap. But she's telling us, 
I don't know if she believes it or not. I feel so gaslit. I don't know if she believes it. Anyway, she said she hasn't napped for three years. And then, I think again another month or two. It might have not even been that long. A month or two after her saying I haven't napped for three years, she said this. I haven't taken a nap in like... I want to say like over <laughs> five years. Maybe she's just really bad at maths. I don't know. Or maybe she's just a liar. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Lyalin. Anyway, I won't waste your time by showing you all the clips of Amber saying, I've napped, I've napped. I'll show you a few, I'll show a few. So we just woke up from a nap. After breakfast, we came up here and literally fell asleep and took like a four hour nap. I came home and took a nap. I think I'm gonna take a nap. I'm probably gonna have to take a nap later for sure. It is currently 9.30 and we just sat in a parking lot and took a little nap. I am not a nap girl. I actually woke up from a nap. So yeah, I actually took a nap earlier after I woke up from my naps. I'm super tired, so I'm gonna take a nap. Hey guys, so I just woke up from a nap. We did take a nap. It was about a 45 minute to an hour nap. I did take a small little nap and I stayed at home. I took a nap. I took a two hour nap. Becky and I took a really long nap. I might have sort of kind of fell asleep and took a little nap. I took a nap. I just woke up from a nap. I took a nap. It happened, y'all. I took a nap. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I just woke up from a nap. So, I just took a two hour nap. I actually just woke up from a nap. I took a nap. So I did take a nap earlier. Ah, sorry. I wasn't napping. Right, Amber? I still can't decide whether she genuinely believes she doesn't nap a lot. I don't know. It's still a lie because it's untrue, so we're still counting it. Anyway, it's untrue. I've never seen anybody nap as much as Amber does. I love a nap. Just that all, of all the awful things she's done, just her saying, I nap all the time, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. What is the worst thing in the world? Oh, not yet. Oh, okay. Me, I'm not a nap person whatsoever. Doesn't get sick. Another one. Like the naps, where I think she's just convinced herself, I think. I haven't been sick in a really long time. But I don't get sick, sick often. So I do not get sick often, you guys. I, I rarely get sick. Maybe a couple times a year. I never get sick. I never get sick. I never get sick. Like, it's very rare. I have a very strong immune system, and I'm so, like, happy about it. But again, I remember when I was doing shit by the algorithm, and I was learning all about her. I remember, look at me smiling. Nostalgic. Um, when I was learning all about her. Oh, the good old days. And I remember thinking, God, she's ill all the time. What's wrong with her? Again, I won't show all the clips of Emma saying she's sick, but there's loads. I'll, I'll show a few. My voice is like pretty bad because I'm sick. So sorry about that. If you guys are wondering, I can't breathe out my nose. So it's kind of, yeah, I'm sick. So today I wanted to be going to the gym, but I can't go because I'm sick. I think I got myself sick. Um, as you guys can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but I am sick. If I don't start feeling better, I'm actually gonna go to the doctor. And I usually don't get sick like this, like ever, so. Really fun, even though Crystal and I were sick. My nose is feeling kind of sick feeling. <laughs> and as most of them know, like I've been sick like four times in the last two months and I don't get sick. So, yeah. Blech. Blech. Ugh. Sorry, I was being sick there. I was thinking about Amber's clit throbbing. Oh, I couldn't even look at the camera saying that. Ugh. I think she believes this one. I think she actually does believe this one. What did she say? I have strong immune system. I have a very strong immune system and I'm so like happy about it. I think she genuinely believes that. But obviously she doesn't. She's, she's 600 pounds. She can't walk for two minutes. She overeats processed food every day. She's drinking, smoking. She doesn't have a good immune system. Amber, you don't. You're very, very sick. Not as sick as Emily, but still sick. Yeah. Ah, oh, finally. Damon White, the greatest lie of them all. This is, it's not just the, the greatest Amber lie. I think it's my favorite lie ever. I made plenty of episodes of Shape by the Algorithm and I hadn't even heard of the Damon White thing. It's such a great one. I was shocked that I'd made so many videos on her that I'd never heard of the Damon White thing. It's brilliant. Amber obsessed with what strangers think about her online, went undercover in this Facebook group, uh, went undercover as Damon White. Sorry, Sir Damon White. Put some respect on that guy's name. Go on undercover to see what everybody's saying about you. It's a great plan. Can't fault the plan. And it might have worked for Amber if she wasn't so... Uh, not smart. Well, I'll, I'll read some out and see if you 
would have been able to tell that this wasn't dim and white. This was Amber. I will admit, I love her live streams. You never know what to expect, lol. Is, is she going to be boring by herself? Or is she going to be rude to Beck? Ooh, what to expect? I love her lives. Anyway, sorry. Getting annoyed with Damon White. He's not even real. But they usually are only an hour to two hours long. ALRD. Oh, yeah. ALRD stood for Amberlynn Reed Discussion. But Amber thought it meant Amberlynn Reed. So there's a point off already. Uh, ALRD said she walked Twinkie now. And I want to believe her. But we live in a society. That's such an Amber thing to say. Um, we live in a society where we don't believe anything unless there's proof then you can, you can pause it if you like. I don't want to go on for too long with these, even though Dim and White lie. That deserves time. Uh, she's trying to convince people she doesn't hurt her animals. Oh, there's one. Uh, they don't beat their animals. That video is almost two years old. That's a very amber-coded thing to say. Oh, that was in the past. Doesn't, doesn't count. The clean slate. Doesn't count. There's no evidence of neglect or abuse. Damon, man. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Somebody replies... Ugh, Damon. She told us she leaves them for 12 hours a day. She told us Twinkie is limited to the kitchen and peeing on the pads. She told us the kitten stays there with the adults unattended. What are you talking about? Damon, I was talking about the video, but that doesn't happen anymore either. If Amberlynn Reed discussion isn't working anymore and stays home to film for YouTube and do live streams. Uh, oh, there's a good one. Most girls her size don't get up and do anything, so I give her props, t props to that. Again, Amber's always saying, look, I can do things people my size can't. Oh, yeah. Uh, I won't read it, but I'll, I'll pop it up somewhere. She's trying to convince people the KC RAP thing. Um, she's trying to convince people that that happened. She's trying to convince people that Amber isn't a liar while she's lying about who she is. God, it, it's genuinely, it's insane. She's trying to convince people Amber isn't a liar as she's posing as Damon White. Who's Damon White? See, this is why when Amber says, oh, I'm dead busy, guys. She's, she always acts like she's dead busy. And we're all going, eh, how? I think it's because of stuff like this. She's going in uh, Facebook groups. She's she's reading every comment. She's watching every video about it. She's just obsessed with what a bunch of strangers think. I understand why she would care what Geordie thinks, because she finds him really cute. Eh, he's all right. Amber, I know you're watching because you're obsessed with yourself, you big old narcissist. Yeah, like, I've been very open and honest that I was using that account. But it was my friend's account, so, yeah. It was just because I wanted to see what people were saying about me. You know, a little narcissistic moment, if you will. But it's really nothing. Never had one of those. Posing as somebody else to try and convince strangers that you were attacked is just mental. Nobody would do It's so mental. And quite frankly, a little bit hectic. Ugh. Anyway, Amber, you're insane. Sorry, Damon, you're insane. Damon White. Please bring back Damon White. What's Damon White up to these days? Getting out with the feeder? Pride. Amber and Beck were meant to go to Pride, but as Amber will explain, I'll lie, um, she explains why, the, why they didn't go. Woo, it's definitely warm. Because what we were doing is, we took the wrong turn <laughs> to go where we were going. And then we saw this place, we're like, oh my god, we should just like sit out here and kind of enjoy the the water and the sun. We ended up not going to Pride though today. Um, we were gonna go. Becky has been experiencing some anxiety about Pride. It's the drive there, it's the fact that Pride is in downtown. Becky's not good with driving in, you know, areas like that. The protesters are freak her out. Um, the heat is really, really getting to her and things like that. I really wanted to go to Pride, but I would never take away the fact that Becky isn't doing that great right now. And also on top of that, I have some horrible blisters. Amber had all of her reasons why they didn't go. Most were, were Beck's fault, obviously, um, but that's not true. What's the real reason we didn't go to Lexington Pride that one time? We spent all day out and about doing stuff. The next day, whenever we were supposed to go to Pride, it was too hot and she didn't feel like going out. So I was just like, I can't argue this. So I stayed with her. The way Amber can just lie like that in front of Beck, it's really, it's really strange. 
she, she's happy for her partners to know she's a big old liar. Like you saw Beck's head down there when Amber was like, oh yeah, we just decided to come here and blah, blah, blah. I felt sorry for Beck. She had her head down. It reminded me of the, the Destiny 20 piece nugget thing where Destiny didn't even want to be on camera. Her head was off, her face was off camera. She didn't even want to be seen and, and Beck was just, so she's happy for her partners to know she's a big old liar. As long as it convinces strangers she's not. God, that's mental. Anyway, they didn't go to Pride. It wasn't Beck's fault. It was Amber's because she's too big to get around for more than two minutes at a time. That's it, really. Hit by lightning. Forgot about this one. That's right, everybody. Amber said that she was hit by lightning. When did you become terrified of storms? When I moved to Virginia, so about two and a half years ago. I never cared before. I used to love them. They loved it. But then when I moved here, tornado watches were... What? Tornado watches were everyone. And lightning struck the house, and I got struck through the headphones. Long story. Oh yeah, lightning struck the house, travelled through the headphones, and yada yada yada. Amber was given lightning powers. And I ran out that door, like the speed of friggin' lightning. Hit by lightning. You're such a liar. Maybe she was really smart before she got struck by lightning. Maybe she had like 140 IQ. And after that, just... I'll show you the clip of her explaining it, because she's on camera explaining it, about her getting hit by lightning. Notice how it's an obvious lie. Uh, and notice how she can barely speak. That intelligence is gone. Damn that lightning. Just when I moved here, over a year ago, there was a really bad storm like uber uber bad and um crystal and i were sitting downstairs because we were scared and i was on my laptop to kind of make my mind ease itself my laptop was actually plugged in to the wall and um i had my earphones in <sighs> lightning struck the house right where um my uh, laptop was plugged into so put two and two together i had the biggest shock in my ears can you imagine just my reaction to that literally i died <laughs> it was traumatizing amber can you please casually bring up that you were hit by lightning in a future video and act like you're not mentioning it because it's come up here please bring up and talk about your experiences with lightning Lightning Lynn. Meeting subscribers. Ooh, this is a good one. Somebody took a photo and video, but somebody took a photo of her at a laundromat, looking really sad and looking big. And everybody was commenting because we're used to just seeing her from up there. Or we, we were for a, a while. So seeing her full body, everybody was like, oh my God, she looks massive. It was quite shocking. And I think it dawned on Amber that she's not just a bit of a joke online, but in public, in public, somebody took a picture to laugh at her or to, to laugh at her or to show what she really looked. Anyway, I think it just dawned on her that she's a bit of a joke in public. So then, after ages of not meeting subscribers, never mentioning anything about that, all of a sudden she started meeting subscribers one after another. Oh, hey guys, I met a subscriber. They were lovely. I met a subscriber at Texas Roadhouse and you were super sweet and you were so sweet to my grandma and my mom. I loved it so much. Oh, I met another subscriber. They loved me. I met a subscriber today, by the way. I like the casino one. The casino one seemed very fake. I like that one. I'm so sorry. Are you Amber Lagree? I am. I love you. Oh my god. I'm actually filming right now. <laughs> oh my god. How are you? I'm alright. I love your videos. You're so funny. Oh my god. What are you doing around here? I miss you guys. You live here? I do. It's good to see you. Hope you have a good day. Okay. You too. Get a picture. Oh, of course. Of course, of course. Oh, yeah, I went to the vets. I went to the vets, and the vet was a fan. And by the way, the vet was a subscriber, and they were just like, I love you. I know who you are. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, yeah, I bet they love the way you treat your animals. Oh, yeah. oh, I bumped into somebody at the supermarket. They wanted to cook me dinner, and they loved my hair. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. Hi. Okay, so hi, Amberlynn in the future. So what just happened here is I had to click off because the guy that I said hi to, he complimented my hair, asked me what I was doing tonight, looked at the food in my cart, which at that point I was about to check out. I had like everything in the cart and he was like, invite me over and I'll cook for you. I was like, oh my God. Nobody said a thing to her in that clip. I've gone back. 
with a team of experts, just myself. Nobody said a thing to her in that clip. She acts like she bumps into somebody, somebody says something and she goes, hello, hi. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Hi. Nobody says a thing. I don't know if it was to make Erica jealous at the time or she was just carrying on this whole thing of every time I meet somebody in public, I'm loved. But yeah, these are just fantasies that people are meeting her in public and loving her or wanting to cook her dinner. Um, no, they're just, they're just silly fantasies. I'm surprised she didn't say, oh, the guy wanting to cook me dinner thought I looked much skinnier than Foodie Beauty and thought I was in my lower 20s. It's all just silly fantasies. When normally if somebody did that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be annoyed at them for coming up with a silly lie. I just think it's quite pathetic. And it is. Uh, and maybe I'd have a bit of sympathy for her. If she didn't, what's the next one? Oh yeah, go on. If she didn't do this. Cookie TikTok. Absolutely ridiculous, this one. I'm sure this was the first time I genuinely felt some sort of anger or hate or something towards her. I'm sure everything up to that point was a joke, but I just remember watching it and going, eh? I think I was on a live stream with Jimmy, or, or we did a video together, and I was just like, oh, she's awful. Meow, 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 meow. It was copyrighted music out of thing or something. Wow, what a what a powerful clip there. Powerfully pathetic. She's not even crying in that. I think maybe that's why she was doing this. <laughs> or, she, or she just thought that's what people do. She's seen it in a rubbish films or or she watched it in male volant. What did she call it? Male volant? I always forget the name. Male volant. Is that what it's called? Um, or she saw it in TikTok, all the TikTok acting stuff. <laughs> On that little look up she does. Like, oh Lord, help me with this binge. Get lost, man. Amber does not have a binge and crying on her hands. We've seen it, Eid. She's getting off to it. She's made videos with cookies. She's made videos basically having sex with cookies. And now she's on here crying about them. Make up your mind. Are you sad about cookies or do you want to fuck them? She's just a terrible actress, as, as we've already seen. Her whole life is just this one big performance for strangers. Amber, put the cookie down, pull up your pants and grow up. Not in love with Destiny, when with Beck. When she was with Beck, her audience kept saying, you're obviously in love with Destiny still, you're much nicer to Destiny than you are to Beck. Although I think she was nicer to everybody compared to Beck. But everybody said, yeah, you're clearly still in love with, um, with Destiny. Next question is, are you still in love with Destiny? No, I'm not in love with Destiny. I love Destiny as a person. I'll always love Destiny. Not in the way that you guys want to make it seem though. Um, I care for her. She's someone that I'm extremely close to. You're still in love with Destiny and you hate Dana. Both of those things are completely false. I do love them both as friends. When I have friends, I do love them and I care for them a lot. But no, I don't hate Dana and no, I'm not in love with Destiny. She kept denying us. No, I'm not. You guys are crazy. You're crazy. You guys are crazy. And then eventually she came out and said. Probably upwards to a year, year and a half after Destiny and I broke up. I was still in love with her. She always thinks that her audience don't have eyes. It's the weirdest thing. I don't get it. Now, according to Amber, if you are in love with somebody else whilst in a relationship, that is cheating. I feel like if you have feelings for someone else while you're in a relationship, that's like mentally cheating. So she cheated on Casey and admitted it. Cheated on Beck. Cheated on Emily. Cheats on her diet. People don't call her cheat Lynn because she runs really fast. Like the speed of freaking lightning. Loves strippers, ooh. There's a clip out there of Amber saying, I love strippers, it's, uh, I, I found it really interesting. Something like that. People saying that, I guess you dogged her for being a stripper. I mean, that was her no. business. Like her being a stripper was something that I always thought was so fascinating. And I'd always talk to her about that. Yeah, like I would never dog someone for that. Are you kidding? Like people just want to assume the worst, always. But then there's another clip of Amber saying, oh, they, uh, it's, it's gross, they degrade their bodies, that's it. I would go back to a strip club, I'm being honest. I would, but it's like, a part of me feels like, it's a weird, like, thing. Like, the whole scenario and environment, it's weird. Like, 
These girls are on stage, kind of like degrading their body a little bit. I don't know. Degrading their bodies. That's a bit rich coming from a woman who can have a heart attack at any minute because of how she's treated her body. Even YouTube thought she was degrading her body. That's why they removed some of her videos where she was stuffing her face. Oh my God, guys, why are YouTube discriminating against me? Other people who eat in videos, their videos haven't been removed. They're not 600 pounds. We're back tits. Amber, you can't judge any other women for what they do with their bodies when you've literally got back tits. I mean, you can, but it's pretty silly. Pretty hectic. Yeah, like I would never dog someone for that. Are you kidding? Anyway, Amber, which one is it? Is stripping cool or is it degrading? Pick one. <phone rings> Clickbait cancer, ooh. Amber made a series of videos recently saying, hey guys, I might have cancer again. And the only way for them to see if it is cancer is if I get a CT scan, which is what I'm going to do today. Obviously there's also a chance that it's literally just kidney stones. A genuine fans. And she does have genuine fans. We're obviously worried about her. God, even, even reaction channels and haters. I saw loads of people worried that she had cancer again. But then as the videos went on and on, a lot of people, and me included, started thinking, nah, this is nonsense. Something's off here, really weird. Anyway, our videos are usually a week or so behind. So when she found out that she didn't have cancer, she didn't make a post, a YouTube community post or an Instagram thing. God, she's always on Instagram. Why didn't she make an Instagram post? She didn't make a post telling her fans that she was okay. She just kept uploading videos. I'm sure it was more than a week. She just kept uploading videos, one after the other, crying about, oh, I might have cancer. But she knew she didn't, but she was still allowing her fans to worry. All for entertainment. All for entertainment. So yeah, that one's, uh, that one's pretty scummy. I was very scared that my cancer did come back and I was scared that it came in the form of bladder cancer. So it turns out that I have a six millimeter kidney stone. So I literally was worrying for nothing. Amber, if you ever get a, another cancer scare, keep your fans updated. Don't let them worry for another week. God, and since then, since her uh, crying on camera, I might have cancer again. Since then, she's piled on the weight, eating garbage, drinking, smoking. Well, Emily smokes, but she's just piled on loads of weight again since that supposed cancer scare. So it turned out it was, it was kidney stones, but now those symptoms have just gone. The symptoms of blood in her urine and pain, which caused it to think, oh, I've got cancer. Those symptoms have now just gone away on their own. So that was lucky. Katie Reed. I think this one's the perfect example of Amber's lies just being automatic. I know she's, she likes to say, um, oh, when I lie, it's to protect the people I love. I've heard that one a few times, but I think it's just, it's just the first thing she thinks of. <laughs> Ob. How old were you? I was like 11. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, that's around the same time where I lied about my middle name. Really? Somebody asked her a name when she was a kid <laughs> and she lied about it for some reason. Yeah, I was, okay, listen, you guys, I was in an all-girls group home, and they were like, is Amberlynn your first name? And I'm like, no. I mean, yes. And then they were like, okay, so what's your middle name? I had to think of something really quick. Katie. Wow, that's random. Amberlynn Katie Reed. You know when she made that first video confessing to all of her lies? What was the point? Like if she was going to confess to all of her lies and then carry on the YouTube career and never lie again, that would have made sense. But to make that video confessing the lies and then just lie in every video after that, doesn't make any sense. Amber, stop lying. I want to be done with this series before I'm 90. Just stop lying. Just stop it. Get some help. Tommy, sorry, Emily, feed her just for money. This one's a, a modern classic here. I like this one. Amber came on camera crying for a change. Came on camera crying when people found out that Emily was a feeder. And we've seen all the proofs where everybody knew, oh my God, this, this person's nuts. You guys had no idea. Amber was saying, you guys don't know the whole story and you never will. Like if you guys knew the full story, you'd be like, oh, wait a minute. But you don't and you'll never know. Bull, bull. Bull, bull. Then she had time to think of a lie and came back and said, oh, I've seen proof. It's all fine, guys. Tommy is not a feeder. It was just a way for them to make money. It wasn't something they did in their like alone time, like if that makes sense. Can she prove the posts were for money only? Yeah, like she has proved that to me. But we've already seen Emily and our last partner who passed away. We've already seen 
proof of those two turning down money for feeder stuff. So it's obvious that one's a lie. Emily, according to Amber, has plenty of money, and it seems like that. She has a job as a psych nurse. Ugh. Anyway, apparently Emily has loads of money, so Amber's reasoning of, oh, but, um, Emily and her last partner just did the feeder stuff for money just so they could see each other, that's a lie. Amber, release the feeder cut. Release the feeder proof. What have you got? If it's something that is just going to make all of us go, oh, okay, that's fine, then why wouldn't she? Sure, it's because there is no proof. Breaks ligaments. Oh, such a good one. This is a modern classic. This is a beauty. Amber fell over, and it obviously had nothing to do with her weight. It was just one of those things. And my foot was just, like, dangling. And it was just so scary. She told us she broke her ligaments. Didn't she? She did, didn't she? I'm, I'm doubting myself now because it's that nuts. I'm just trying to share my experience of someone who is 500 pounds breaking their ligaments. Hi guys, I broke my ligaments. All right. People think she just fell over and twisted her ankle or, or hurt herself in some way because she's so big. If you go down at that size, it's 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 not going to be good. But no, she didn't break her break her ligaments. But she did. Um, show proof that she, uh, well, sort of, she showed Amber-style proof. She went back to the scene of the crime, took a photo of where the incident happened, put a red circle around where she fell. Oh, didn't she show her, her, her shoes as well? Didn't she show her trainers with, um, with mud on them as well as proof? You can see the dirt where literally the tip of my foot went into it and it made my ankle twist. I think, she, I think she was trying to prove that she fell over because of how she hit the ground rather than she fell because she's huge. I think that's what that was. God, to go back and put a red circle around the... Oh, she's nuts, man. Right, I'll end it there because I don't want these to go on for too long. Uh, that's part three. Thanks for watching. Part four. Are we, are we halfway through yet? We must be. God, part four. Next. What's the next one? I must, what's the next line I'm starting with? Blames Beck for cancer. Oh, good. We'll start with a cheery one, eh? Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, Amber. Thanks for lying so much that some moron on the internet can make a multiple part series about your lies. Oh my god, so many lies. Yes, thanks for watching uh, the never ending series Amber's Lies. The never ending lie. See you in part four. Bye, 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 bye. Woo! Um.